So guys, mm. uh, <laughs> me and Frankie. Africa. <laughs> Africa. Hey, hallelujah. <laughs> hallelujah. Hey, 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 look at look at me. I'm crying. Yeah. You're emotional because Because we're talking about what really matters yeah. in our lives. Family. Yeah. Kids. So please share about your angel. I must say I'm fifty now, right now I'm fifty eight. But and I got married three years ago. The first time. And I was fifty five. First time. Yeah, first time. And um, hey, tell us. You well, went to a mosque. Yeah. It was an amazing story. Really actually Angel wrote a book about it, my wife. She wrote a book. And she has a Muslim background. Her mother is Muslim. Her mother is but her father was a Christian. Oh, yeah, yeah. But he died. He died young. He was a fisher, he just yeah, he disappeared. Was a fisherman. He died yeah. young. He never yeah. came back from sea. Yeah. Oh my so god. Was terrible. Yeah, you can imagine the shock. And she loved her dad very much. Mm. And apparently he loved her very much. So it was the worst day of her life, obviously, you know. And so she at the vet, and then at school she has a, a visual impairment problem, right? So she cannot see well. She's basically blind. She's basically blind. Any government in the world will give will pay her money yeah. because she's yeah. impaired. Yeah. But so so at school she couldn't cope at school either because she wanted to she wanted to be really close to the board, like yeah, literally yeah. like yeah. this. Mm. And the teachers, of course, didn't like it, so she couldn't go to school. So she left school at the age of nine, I think, or something. But she had no education, which is great, which is what I love because age we don't need no education. education, and we are teachers, and we are teachers. Yeah. We are teachers. Yeah. <laughs> Man, education is so fucking overrated in the world. So overrated. It's it's eighty ninety percent overrated. Bullshit. Um, bullshit. Total bullshit. Man, 80, why, why the fuck bullshit. would you go? To, to school, to college, to university. You're paying money to enter an exclusive club. That's what it's That's all it. about. But if you keep that money, you can create your own exclusive club. That's what I want to say. You don't need to be employed. Yeah, exactly. You just make your own. You make your own business. Mm. If you keep that shitty money that you spend on education, you keep it for yourself. You don't pay to enter the club. You but anyway, and, uh, yeah. I, I just want you to know what <laughs> we can make hundreds of videos yeah. that will blow your mind, you know? Really. So Angel Absolutely. was so physically my... impaired with mm -hmm. her sight. Yeah, she's physically... Her father died her when father she was young. young. Raised by her mom, who was, you know, was a very, is, is today a very hard working lady. And she's 68 years old. But you would never get her <laughs> hair is all black. She looks like ten years younger. Yeah, ten years younger. And great lady, great old lady. She doesn't speak any English, but she's great. I love her. And you know, she was living with these people. They kept her alive, right? And um, but when I met her, I was like, I was so surprised. She was so honest. She was so honest. She would. The first thing she said. Look at my eye. I didn't even notice it. I didn't notice because it was dark. It was midnight when I met her, and we were having a beer in a, in a, in an, in an alley on a staircase. In the wall. In the wall. I didn't see anything, and she said, "Hey, uh, uh, please look at my eye. I want you to see this." You know, I was very surprised. I was like, "Wow, this girl is. Why she wants me to see this?" And because, because she's, she's honest. honest. She's honest. Amen. She's mm. honest. Honest. And that is the best quality. Yeah, that's of the a best, person, that's of the a best person. quality of a person ever. If your wife is honest to you and you're honest to her, that's the best. Yes, um, amen. Hallelujah. And, I, and Angel, there's every day, the first thing she says to me when she wakes up, I love you, boss. She says, she calls me boss. <laughs> she should. Yeah. Because the Bible says that Sarah called her husband, Abraham, boss. Oh. Yeah, okay. you didn't know that. I didn't know that. I know that most <laughs> Christian women don't have a clue. Yeah, you have to call your husband, what? Yeah, Ma master, master. Yeah, boss. No, but, no, master. Actually, yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. Sarah called her husband. So, so, so we are talking now about real, real girl. life, real she's life. A that's a real life. She's you know, uh, Angel. I know her. She, you know, <laughs> she's amazing. She's totally amazing, and. And she's fun. She's fun. 
she loves to have fun. Music. She's a great dancer. She does. She's super sexy. She's super sexy group. Super yeah. sexy. Uh, most men who meet her fall in love with her. <laughs> <laughs> That's the problem. <laughs> That's a, well, not really a problem for me. No, but, you because know, you know she, you can trust her. Yeah, I don't care. But but of course, she, of course, I can trust her. That's. That's the main point. I can trust her, and I and I really not worried or care about anything. So I trusted my Norwegian woman. She was lovely. Mm -hmm. We have five mm -hmm. kids together. Very lovely. But the government and all her friends. bullshit friends yeah. say, "Why do you want to? Why don't you divorce oh. this guy? You know? Yeah. Why? Why? Because you will get. You can steal all his money. I mean, uh -huh. this is fucking bullshit. Nancy loved me. Oh. We have five kids together. Yeah. But she was blinded by the all these idiots who yeah. say, okay, you just you have more money, just boom, just divorce him and you can steal all his hey, hey, oh my god. Uh, the, the, it's down there behind okay. my Suzuki A oh. 90 okay, I'm gonna pick this up. I'm gonna wash it and fucking eat. Yeah, yeah. We have what uh, look look at guys it <laughs> okay. <laughs> We are in Johnny's mm. paradise, okay? Yeah. Mm. We have a sink under the table, okay? Yeah. And yeah. And, and Frankie mm. you cook eat, this right? one, yeah. Mm. Cook. So a snack for beer. Yeah, yeah. It's like, hey, hey. The beer is my best friend. Mm. Jesus is my master, but beer, beer is my friend. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I, love, I, love, I love drinking ever since I was very young. Um, and I'm not going to say like Churchill, Winston Churchill said. Yeah, he was an alcoholic. Yeah, he said, I took more out of booze than booze took out of me. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look for, look, guys, we are live here, okay? So I, I want another beer. Oh, my dear. Do I have another beer? I have, I have right, right here. So, so guys, I, I'm inviting you into my private sphere, yeah. my private life mm. with, with Frankie, because yeah. we are soldiers, yeah, and we are not afraid. Soldiers of the soul. Soldiers, soldiers of, the, of soul. the soul. Amen. Can you open this because I'm, yeah. I'm filming mm. and I. <laughs> and look, look, Frankie is. The, Frank the Tank. <laughs> you don't believe this guy. He took down so many guys, so many attacks. That's why you have the the, the discoloring of, mm -hmm. of your head, of your eye. My head. This man has survived. He's a survivor. <laughs> mm. I'm working with my book. What I learned from 100 near death experiences that's my i'm working on it now wow oh. he's a writer mm. and frankie is, is is actually very highly intelligent and he's a he's a fucking bastard you, know? <laughs> you don't want to fight this guy he's gonna he's gonna take you down he, he's a kung fu expert yeah. you don't want to mess with frankie but he's a writer <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm, that's true. Uh, I can't say it better myself. <laughs> no, but I know you. I, I know you. Mm. And I love you. It doesn't mean I want to fuck your butt. No. no. I'm not a homosexual. No. But I love you as a brother. Thank you, man. Mm. Hey. So, guys, mm. we want to encourage you. Mm. Don't we? We want to stand up, stand up, mm. stand up. Don't let the fucking devil yourself. destroy you. Don't get depressed. Don't fucking get into a mess. No, you are depressed. You, you yeah. know what the word depressed means? Mm. Somebody's pushing you down. That's yeah. what it means. Yeah, but don't go there. Get don't out. Don't go, get out. Get the fucking out from the depression, man. Yeah. Huh? Come to Asia. Come to Asia. Find the love Come of the your Philippines life. Come to the Philippines or Indonesia. Or Indonesia. That's how you get out of depression. Yes. Because change you will be life. you will be uh, you will be adored. Yes. You change your life. You will be adored here. The, the Western world. I mean, I was in uh, London 
1991, I met one girl. I, I, I was just, fuck, I arrived in London in the morning from South Africa, and I, 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 so I went down to Piccadilly Circus. It's right in the middle of London, and there's a fountain, and there's some stairs. I sat down on the stairs, and I took out a bottle of booze that I brought from South Africa. And this beautiful girl, she had long hair, she, was, she looked like a model. So, we agree, we love ladies. Yeah. We're not absolutely, gays. Absolutely. No, no, no. We have, we've been around many women. But the point is, she walked past me and she said, oh, what is that? I said, oh, this is my South African booze. It was called Amarula, Amarula. So she's like, oh, can I, can I taste that? I said, yeah, sure, come here. She sat down right next to me. Beautiful, beautiful girl. One of the most beautiful girls you'll meet in England. And I poured her a drink. And, and there are many beautiful girls in yeah. England. <laughs> yeah, but they're all the same. They're fucked up like the men. Yeah. So, so I poured, and she's like, whoa, this, this is amazing. <laughs> she never had this taste in her life. And I, we said, by the way, can you show me your ponytail? Oh, yeah. You see, this yeah. guy. I found a very long hair <laughs> in the shower. So what the yeah. fuck is going on? I don't have long hair. So I raised is that is that mm -hmm. is from the mm -hmm. ponytail. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. Well, so well. so they will continue. The woman. Yeah. So she um, and then we drank the, the 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 bottle of booze and it was almost. I mean, it was almost done. It was like quarter left, and I said, "Okay, shit, the dog." And I had a room nearby, and I had to fly the next morning to Canary Islands, plus America. Where we have been, both yeah, of us. Yeah, yeah. So I had to go there. So I told her, well, I'm going to my room. I have to get up four in the morning. And she's like, oh, but we haven't finished drinking and talking. I said, yeah. She's like, can I go with you? I said, yes, sure. Why not? Of course. So, boom. <laughs> we went, boom, 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 boom. boom, boom. Yeah. I want you in my room. <laughs> mm. So, very good. This girl was hot. Hot, hot, hot. But, yeah. And I met her again when I came back from Canary. I got kind of kicked out of the Canary Islands because of a little misunderstanding of the police. But, hey, I met the same girl again. Oh. Yeah. Oh my gulai! Mm. The smoking hot English mm. girl. Smoking hot English girl, and she she loved drinking. She was basically an alcoholic. Cause that's how it works in the West. If you want to cope, you have to become an alcoholic. There's no other way to cope. You cannot survive. You cannot survive. Okay, brother, brother. Uh, I, I, I. Just have to stop this okay, video okay, now okay, cool. because no, because I'm overwhelmed yeah. with what you say. Yeah, and uh, we have to for process it. Mm. But I will. Okay, you have a message to to all these guys, guys in the world. Guys, stop being trapped in your own heads. You're trapped in your head first. Okay, in your head. It's in your head. In your head. In your head. You're a zombie, right? In your fucking head. Mm. Get out of the zombie mode. Get out of the zombie mode. Come into the real world. The real world is the world of happiness. And I have a pension from the fucking Norwegian government. But frankly, That's you nothing. are all, all by yourself. Yeah, I got nothing. I got no income. I haven't had any income for the last three, four years. And it's very hard. It's very fucking hard. Because I got to take, take care of your wife and her mother yeah. and her child. Mm, yeah, it's very, very hard. But Guys, if, you, if you want to support Frankie, yeah. please do. Yeah, please, please do. Francois Williams. Francois Williams. That's my channel's name. Please, if you want to have any support, thank you. Thank you. And he speaks Chinese, yeah, by the way. Sure, sure, sure. This guy <laughs> speaks Chinese. Yeah, yeah. You've been living how many years in China? How many years? Hundred years. Fifteen years, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, guys, yeah. guys, we are here in Pattaya, and we are the brothers in arms. Street okay. monks. Street monks. Street monks. Street monks. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It just stopped now. It's yeah. perfect. Perfect. It just stopped. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Hmm. Huh.